it's they always say it's the Super Bowl for scouts. Uh, just how prepared are do you feel at this moment, and how excited are you to get it going? I think we are very well prepared, and we are excited to go. We can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, you know, we have had our meetings, and we are pretty much done. So it's got to be a good feeling, you know, all that hard work has yeah, been yeah. Has done. finally yeah, coming to the end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. What uh, is, is, uh, the, the obvious question here for you, I guess, would be, um, is it, is it going to be weird on the draft floor picking without Yarmo there? No. It, well, it, you know, we worked together ten and a half years. <laughs> yeah. So, it, will, you know, it will be a little bit weird, but it's still, the, you know, the job needs to get done. Yeah. So. I think we, we saw him, he was at the Combine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it just there. good to have him help out a little bit, just as, you know, through the yeah. process. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. Well, it, I well, it surprised me that he came. <laughs> <laughs> good to see him, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always good to see him. Yes, He's my good friend. Yes. Uh, I asked Don the other day about his how much he gets involved in the draft, and he says he has a lot of respect for you and Trevor and the job that you guys have done previously. Uh, is it nice to hear that from the new boss and just you just kind of keep yeah, going? If, if he has said that, it, it's very nice, <laughs> very nice to hear. Yeah. Has it been a huge transition for you dealing with a new general manager or is it just business as usual? We haven't had a whole lot of time yet to spend with him, but you know, so far so good. Uh, when you look at this draft class, uh, you know, I think I remember a year ago, that was the different draft class as far as like at the top, a lot of top guys, top mm -hmm. centers. Felt like there was a little more certainty, maybe in the top four picks, as, as far as which guys would go. Mm -hmm. Is this a, was this one a little different? Other than when once you get past maybe Celebrini, yeah, it, 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 it feels like that, but we'll see. But it, you know, I think like you said, it can go anywhere after first. Yeah. I think Celebrini will go first. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But after that, we'll it's, it's yeah, kinda, yeah. It's, it's kind of wide open. Do you like those kind of drafts? I mean, or would you well, rather we have, have we have done our homework as well as we could, and we feel confident that we get we get the good player. Yeah, you guys have picked very high. This is the fourth year in a row, right? Mm -hmm. like, I think fourth draft in yeah. a row. Uh, stockpiled a lot of really good talent, and it's not just centers or wings mm -hmm. or defensemen. Like you have a lot of good prospects at all. Is this Hopefully. One, it, well, it's what it seems like. Yeah. Is this one of those drafts where we always talk about the cliche of just take the best player available type of thing. Is this really one of those where when yeah. it gets to your spot, it's just whoever you have ranked in that spot automatically. It's like yeah, that's, the yeah, guy that's yeah. our, that's the way we think that best player would next guy. Yeah. Is that the way it is every year or is there some years where you're like, well, we, we would like a Maybe in year. the past it has been like, okay, if the guys are that very close to each other, and then maybe we have had a little bit more need for a certain position, but that we we have valued that more. But, but as of now, we we plan to take a best player. Yeah. What do you think about this first round, just in general? Like, what? Are no, we I think there are a lot of good players. <laughs> like every, you know, every, you know, you feel excited, and and we pick high. And, and we are confident that we're going to get a good play. Yeah. It seems like there's more, maybe more defensemen in the first round that may go this way. Yeah, I think year. there will be D-man going high in this draft, yeah. It's not all the time that, you know, a player at the top of the draft is injured or, you know, not 100% when the draft happens. So for a player like Caden Lindstrom, who's, of mm -hmm. course, been linked to the Blue Jackets, what's the process like in terms of all the due diligence you do to feel comfortable with it? Yeah, we do our homework as well as we can and make a decision based on, based on that. Another player, uh, Ivan Demidov, just came over, has met with some teams. Uh, just seeing, seeing him in person, does that just give, feel you a little bit more comfortable just knowing you can watch him on film and you can see him play, but to actually meet him, does that help a lot? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you feel, you know, you get to face him and talk to him and you know, know, know his personality a little bit more. You know, it makes makes it feel better, for sure. How uh, is, is it challenging? Like with Lindstrom in, in particular, the first thing people talk about with him is the back, right? Because he had the mm -hmm. injury and kept him out. Is it tough to get full medicals on these guys and to where you feel comfortable, where you're like, yeah, that's not going to be a problem? No, not really. We will. We get all the information we need. 